Welcome back. How was school? Come in, sit by the fire. Sorry, I, I don't have your favorite snack ready for you. I do have another treat. I want you to tell me about school. Yeah? Come over here. Sit with me. Yeah. Okay. I want to show you the traditional cleaning that your grandpa shared with me back when I was just a little tight. Now, grandpa didn't have all the fancy tools that we have, but I think the thought and the feeling behind it for what matter. Come. Lay your head. Yes. Right there. Comfy. Warm. Yeah. It is an ear cleaning. Good guess. We've got a couple different stages, and I want you to tell me all about school while we get started. Okay. There we go. Grades? Yeah? Grades are a little important. C's get degrees, I always say. And you spend a lot of time on it. You get your first job. And after that, nobody cares. You know what? Your first job might not even care. You know, the government is always hiring, and they don't care how well you did. They're just looking for warm bodies to fill a slot. you're passing, no D's, okay? No D's. You know, your effort in school can get you further in life. Because the more you train yourself, Discipline, the more you spend time allocated on that, I think the better off you'll be when you get out of school. pressure than this. It's okay. I have my own style. You have your own style. They have their own style. And you know, I actually taught you how to do laundry and cook. Granted, it's a recipe, but we're not going to tell anybody that, okay? Taught you how to do basic cleaning stuff, not that you do it, come on. You really ought to allocate some of that time, some of that free time. Cleaning, keeping everything 
everything at a basic level of decency. Yeah? necessary in between every step if I remember it. Now this is probably going to tingle so that's why I'm <laughs> a little bit of pressure on the side of your head. I always thought it was comforting. This is one of those tools Grandpa didn't have. I think he got plenty clean. Any bullies? Anybody giving you trouble? You know, I thought about that a little bit. I thought, what would happen if my kid did something like fighting another kid? Or I'd have to come in and talk to the principal with him. Uh, it would depend. It'd depend a lot on what you did, you know? If you were being dumb, defending yourself. Oh, that's another matter entirely. It's okay to be gentle with people, but you also have to stand up for yourself. Don't let anybody else fight your battles for you, because eventually they're going to be asking you for money. <laughs> no, silly. Not literal money. Anybody who says they're going to do something for free. They really don't mean it most of the time. In fact, I'd say 99% of the time. They don't mean it. They mean, you're going to owe me a favor later. Time to pay the piper. Get what I'm saying? Yeah, I know you do. You're a smart kid. So do your best to keep your nose clean and out of trouble. And if anybody comes after you unjustly, knock them out for me, okay? <laughs> I mean, if you can avoid it, don't. as possible. Do not draw negative attention. Of course, there's going to be jealous people anyway. Oh? Yeah, that classmate of yours, I think they might be jealous. After all, their grades aren't anything spectacular. They don't realize that grades really don't matter after you get into college. That 
first company. Just going to look at them just a little bit. Who knows? finished with this here. Time for fluffies. Okay, turn over. Driving close to the speed limit, right? When you take my car out. Yes, it is my car. Obeying stop signs, traffic lights. the people who are not going to you. And that's really going to impress me. If you have the ability to answer back with a quiet word. Since you asked, everything seems to be going fine. I know that little YouTube channel I started is picking up a couple views. People seem to enjoy it. Don't leave very many comments, but the couple that they've left have been pretty nice, actually. Pretty nice people.
Twitch channel. Yeah. I'm still on that. Yes, I did interrupt you. I'm sorry. I'm going to go with the weird one. Yeah. I do still stream, but I just don't stream as much. Great fun. And actually, recently, a couple of the people from the Discord have been showing up. I really appreciate them. I love playing video games and chatting with people at the same time. It's like the pinnacle. The pinnacle of video gaming experiences. stream, but I think the minimum is kind of weird. It's like you have to stream eight hours a month or something, and have a minimum of three plus 50 total followers in order to start. find me on YouTube. YouTube starts monetization at a thousand, not at fifty. I guess because everybody wants to be on YouTube. There's really annoying GFX bots never show up on YouTube. They show up all the time on Twitch for some reason. And Twitter. Twitter's been kind of a disappointment, I'll be honest. It's fun keeping track of people, but none of the big people I follow ever respond. Some of the smaller people do really dumb things. Like they'll be blocking replies and talking to their moots about, oh, do you want to collab this? Do you want to do that? What do you think of my profile picture? Like, yo, that's so rude to the rest of us. Twitter as your private Discord server, or as a DM. Instead of DMing a specific person, I'm going to ask specifically the people that I follow who also follow me. Sure, you can ask a lot of them at the same time. It's just like forwarding an email to everybody in the company when you're replying to it. Ugh. Hate those people. So dumb. Hate is a strong word. I stream. 
strongly dislike their tendency to do dumb things. How's that? <laughs> Thanks for keeping me honest. Anyway, I have this idea. I have this idea for the YouTube. Roleplay a little bit like this. Just like with us. With a 3DO or something. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to do that though. So you know what if they don't like it? I guess when it happens, they'll just have to leave a comment. I hope if they like it, they're leaving a like. You see, this, this algorithm is not going to promote me by itself. The big promotions always come from liking and commenting and subscribing. Me personally, I like almost every video I've watched all the way through. Almost. I comment on ones that I particularly liked. Yeah. And I've subscribed to a fair number. I'll grant you, I've uh, recently unsubscribed to a number because I don't enjoy the content as much anymore. Which is fine. Great. But I think of it like this. The ones who are left, they're getting more of my attention. And I can watch more of their stuff, because if you're following 200 channels, and they're all putting out multiple videos per week, there's no way you could watch all of them. So some of the channels, I watch maybe one video a week, or maybe one a month, depends on how frequently they come up. I'm working to watch something like a talk show or the latest drama expose. Yeah, I like drama. Well, no, it's not drama. Ha ha. Ha ha. I think we're all set. Come on, sit up. Yeah. So that's that, I suppose. We're all caught up. Say, I made some food. Some dinner. Wanna go eat? Fantastic. Dinner is, uh, on the house, one might say. Don't look at me like that. You know it was funny. It was. Alright, let's go.